Hello, Marsha Holland here, Glam Mama. <sighs> Doing another video today. Got my husband on the camera, so <sighs> as long as he behaves, we'll be all right. So we gotta go to um, therapy today, physical therapy. So we're gonna do some mask eyes today. <laughs> What did I tell you the other day that actually these masks really do enhance your eyes, right? Now my face is clean, but I am going over it real quick with my rose water. <sighs> In fact, I'm going to use the, all of the rose series today. Excellent. It feels so good. Oh, yes, feels so good. I'm so glad you're here with me. That was rose water. Now I'm going to use an Actilabs product. This is a individual hyaluronic serum. So hyaluronic. It's in everything, right? I don't know of any products that we have at pharmacy that has hyaluronic. So I got it from my uh, Actilabs site. A little bit on my hair it's sticking up back there now, I may have to stop abruptly and go tend to something with my husband but so far he's behaving let's keep it that way and now we'll do a little rose elixir this stuff is wonderful you know when you do your skincare you feel so much better it just and my and listen when you don't take care of your skin and then you get back into it I'm telling you this is just, my skin is just sucking everything up. Yeah. No. Oh. I do need to kind of hurry. It seems like I'm always in a hurry anymore. I don't like being in such a hurry. And I don't like having to be somewhere at a certain time. Yeah, because it never fails no matter how much I try to get ahead of time. So we can relax when we leave. Something always happens at the last minute. Does that happen to you? <sighs> yes my life now this is the rose series moisturizer mm -mm 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 -mm. if you could smell these pharmacy homegrown roses <sighs> if you want to know anything about these products just give me a message okay or you can go to www.marshaholland.com check them out for yourself okay there we go now, we're going to do... Yesterday, I didn't do a full face. I just did a real fast face because I wasn't going anywhere. Today, I'm going somewhere. So, I may have to... I think I'm going to go and have to turn in my uh, keys for work. Oh, It's going to be sad. You know, actually, I heard that several people, after I left in July, I was on, you know, I was on the family leave thing until October... But I actually hadn't worked since July the, I haven't worked since Thursday, July the 9th. That's the night my husband fell. So, uh, but since then, everybody that works day shift has gotten the COVID. Yeah, they're all over it now, but they had COVID. So that means I sure would have been guaranteed I would have gotten it. Yeah, I'm going to put some pot de cream on. Comes in a, its own compact. It's the only one we have that comes in a compact. Of course, I broke my compact. That's okay. It's all right. I love this stuff. It is the full coverage that we have. We have two that are are, cap, are considered full coverage. It's Pata and the VFX Pata. Now, once I get some on here, I'm just going to kind of buff it. This is really full coverage. I never have to take it with me to touch up. You might have to, I don't know, but I just don't. Okay. Now we're gonna buff it. I hope the dogs behave. Sometimes Bella, she is a treataholic. And I'm serious, she's addicted to, to treats. I have a real bad problem with her in her eating habits. But it's not so much hers, it is her owner. <laughs> She begs and cries though. I can't, just can't deal with it. So, she 
she gets pretty much what she wants. All right, let me get that, make sure I'm talking. Let me make sure I've got all of it on. Just kind of buff it around. Don't want to go streaky like that because that might make some streaks. So we're just going to kind of do some around and around and around and around. She goes. There you go. Very good. That's all I want. Yesterday I did a video and I called this stuff BB cream. It's BB powder. Not BB cream. BB powder. And I'm rough with my stuff. Look. <laughs> Still works though. So we are going, I think what I want to do is put my primer on first. Then we'll set it with that BB powder. And today I will use Drawer Cosmetics uh, Clean Canvas. Uh-oh. My camera went away. Hang on, guys. Got to have my camera on. I can't do this. If you are a caregiver, here is our chair alarm thingy. Uh, it also doubles up as a bed alarm. It is a lifesaver. Of course, now Bella has gotten to where she starts barking if he tries to get out of the chair. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, barely touching this. Clean canvas. And this is in what color? I don't know. I'll have to look. I'm going to just smear it on first. I'm going to do magnetics again. So, listen. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, I'm going to do a live for Glamnetic.com. <clears throat> they sent me some stuff to demo for you. You've probably already seen it. What color is this one? This one is Clean Canvas Medium. Yeah. A lot of big stars use that Clean Canvas eye primer. I've seen it. I've seen them. All right, so let me get a brush here, and we're going to just kind of smooth all that in. And I put it all over... I happen to believe that primer is very important for your face and your eyes. When you get older, you're going to get this tissue looking stuff. So one way to help it is to use primer. So now we're going to set it with my BB cream. Uh, see, there I go. My BB powder. Just like that. And just kind of give me a tap. Don't want to go too heavy on the powder when you get my age. However, I love powder, though. It's just old school, I think, because we, we wore powder all the time. I went years without wearing anything but powder on my face. And I think the reason is I don't like shiny faces. I think highlighting is pretty in certain, you know, a little bit of highlighting is pretty. Hang on. Allergies. <laughs> yeah, I think I just... Now we'll do some blush. Blush, blush, blush. What do I want to use today? Oh, I want to go to my old standby here. My pharmacy face palette. Look, this is a good blush color for me that's in here. Now, I'm not going to do how, uh, I'm, not, I'm going to do some highlighting, but I'm not going to do the contour. I probably should, but I just, I don't know. I just don't do contour. We are going to highlight a little bit right up in here, though. Both sides. Yeah, I don't want to come over in here because this is where most of my little crepe paper uh, wrinkles are. So, I certainly don't want to highlight those. And then, highlight my cheeks. Yeah. That's all I'm going to do. Now, we're going to kind of smooth all that out. If you think you get too much, you can either use your foundation brush or powder. Smooth it all out. There we go. Now, I have found another eyebrow brush. <sighs> the one I really liked, I ran out of. Oops. Oops. I really do uh, love brow powder, and I usually fill in with my brow powder. 
let's give our brows a little bit of a brushing i don't have very many brows left guys i used to not have to do anything period with my brows but you know oh i didn't know this had a brush i forgot i had this little uh eyebrow brush let's see what it is i don't even remember this is called studio pro can't even pronounce that that is a German name or something it's color ebony listen to this HD Augen Brustift. okay whatever I didn't pay attention to that did I so we're just gonna do a little outlining if you don't know how to do your brows you want to put this against your nose unless you like your brows over if you like your brows over more you want to take the the middle of your nostril and use that as your guideline. I don't like that. I like it more over here. So we're just going to put a little mark right here and then you want to twist it on around to the outside of your iris. That's where your peak should be. And then you want to go all the way around the outside of your eyelid. I mean your eye. And that's where your brow should end. That's your guideline. I don't ever have to do that anymore because I've done this so long. So we are just going to do the top and bottom first. And come on around, because on the outer part of my brow, where I'm at right now, I really have to draw them in anymore. Then let's come on over here on underneath. And like so. I don't like real dark brows, so as you can tell. Listen, these lashes are going to be gorgeous. Just wait till you see them. I've gotten to where I am just really a lash, lash, whatever, at it. This brow is nutso. Wild hairs like crazy. I practically have to draw the whole thing on this brow. I don't know what that's all about. My thyroid came back normal, so it's not my thyroid. Okay, as you can see, we have got my outline going. Can you see, did I do underneath on the other? Yes, I did. This will do it. Now we're gonna put the brow powder on. And my brow powder is dark brown. I'm gonna use this little uh, tool I got from another brow pencil that I had. Listen, it's gonna get 69 degrees today and I was cold this morning so I turned the heat on, now I'm burning up. I may have to stop and go turn it off. This is the brow powder and I just use it to fill in So, let's see, I think I was telling you about the, uh, the uh, I'm going to be on Glammedic's homepage, their uh, group page, doing a, they're going to do giveaways, I'm going to do some demonstrations, and when I'm doing the demonstrations, the Glammedic girls are going to be on there answering questions, and I believe every 25 shares they give a they do a giveaway and they're going to actually give away a whole pair of lashes and they're going to give away some liner to go with it so you get both of them for free they're going to have a drawing and they're going to do it right then for every 25 lives so you guys need to go over here to my page tomorrow at 3 p.m central time and see if you can't win some. It'll be fun anywho. Okay, so there's the brows. Now I do my, as you can tell, I did my foundation first. Some girls do their foundation after they do their eyes. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to check on something right quick. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah, I didn't think I was recording. Dang. I'm gonna use our beautiful, it's called, 
um, palette came out in October. I mean, I'm here just talking to myself, I guess. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, now remember, I said we're going to do mask eyes. So you're going to see what I'm talking about. The mask, tell you the truth, the mask really enhances your eyes now. And so... I get more compliments on my eyes now because that's all people can see is your eyes, right? I think I'm recording. I had to go see about my dog. My dog was the one that was causing the problem then, not my husband. Okay, just all over the lid. And then I do kind of bring that up, smooth it out. I don't add any more product, but I do drag it up a little bit up over the bone. Uh, if you have hooded eyes, you want to do a few little tricks to that bone there. Uh, but lashes, let me tell you, lashes will do more for your hooded eyes, really, than practically anything. Now we're going to do, going to do, oops, wrong brush. We're going to use this pretty rose gold. It looks orange right there, but it's actually a rose gold. I may have to dark doctor it up a little bit. Now, when it comes to the eyes, you can be real simple, of course, and just do like one color, or you could do two colors, you know, don't get too drastic about it. But there's something about playing with the eyes. It's so fun. It's like coloring in a color book. You can just really... Um, have fun with it. Now I'm going to bring that color down. We're going to we're going to smooth it all out. It's okay. I'm going to bring it down about halfway over. Went a little little further on that side, so let's make it match. Mercy days make it match now let me smooth it out we have such crazy weather here I thought winter was here now it's gonna be now it's gonna be 69 degrees which means it's probably gonna be 70 or something but anyway I'm ready for winter this is the first year and I don't know how many years that I don't have to worry about having to drive in the winter weather isn't that great all right, so now, let me pick this up, and we're going to get, um, I meant to get my smoky palette out, so hang on, I'm probably going to drop everything. I'm looking for my smoky palette. Hang on a second. Let me find my smoky palette. There it is, stuck way back there. I have got to, I mean, there is no getting away with it. I have got to clean up my makeup room. <sighs> so I'm going to use the gray in this smoky palette. We're going to do a little bit of dimension action here. Without color, coloring, without covering up my pretty little rose gold in here. I'm just going to make it a little darker going in the crease. And coming up over my bone, remember I said that, and I'm going towards the tail of my brow. And then we're going to smooth it out a little more here pretty quick. Do both sides. I could actually go ahead and do one eye and then come back, couldn't I? That would save. Right? Let's see, then we're going to come up on that bone. Uh, did I tell you that lashes are great for hooded eyes? That's what I was going to tell you a while ago. Lashes are great for hooded eyes. So if you have hooded eyes, they do a great job of camouflaging. You're going to see, I want you to pay attention to my eyes. How they look right now, they look kind of funny. Smoothing out. Yeah, I look kind of sick right now, don't I? 
we may have to darken it a little more. Uh, yeah, we need to darken it a little more. So we're going to get brave and use a little bit of black. <sighs> Just a teeny bit. You'll see. Right in that V. Just in the V. Just a little. Less is more, but I never know how to do less is more. Bringing it up. See a little bit? Yeah, that's that's what we needed. I'm also going to use, oh guys, I'm going to use a little bit of glitter liner. And today, yesterday, I used a colored liner for my uh, magnetic lashes. Today, I'm just going to use the liquid, the black. Now, they have liquid and felt tip. And so, we're going to use the liquid today. We used felt tip yesterday. Okay, now we're going to do the white here. Watch this. I love using this stuff to highlight the brow. I think the TV might have gone off. If the TV went off, I'll have to go fix it. Stop. Oh, no, I think I hear it. It's just quiet. I think. What are you doing in here? It's still on. Just like so. Okay. Smoky palette. I need to keep that where I know where it is. Okay. Now I'm going to outline or not outline, I'm going to, uh, oh man, have you ever done this? Well, <sighs> that makes me so mad. Now it's all in my drawer over there. Okay, I'm going to sharpen my little white, and we're going to do our eye, our tear line. It brings out your eyes, actually, makes them look bigger. kind of funny right now lashes and liner is everything lashes and liner is everything I'm gonna use a little bit of black here and we're just going to go along my tear line lash line I mean see the difference and I'm gonna smudge it And I also do a little bit of this on my lid as because it, it's my guideline for uh, where to put my where to put my liner. So let's just kind of smooth that out. I love smudging, <laughs> smudging, smudging. I like smudging. Now I am going to put this right here. Not necessarily to line my eyes for the liner, but just as a little guideline of how close to get to my lash line. I'm also going to tight line. Uh, if you don't have a lot of flesh tone that shows there, then, you know, you wouldn't have to. Shoot, I went years never tight line because I didn't know how. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, but I have a lot of flesh tone. 
that shows. If you do lashes, it helps to tie line. You see the difference? It kind of makes your lashes look, makes your own lashes look a little thicker. Coming on around here, on the outer edge. Most of the time I forget about tight lining until I get my cotton pink and lashes on. It's a little harder to do once you get your lash on. I like to come down with it here. The reason for that is I don't like a, an abrupt end to my fake lash. So I like to kind of come on down here, you know, with a liner. Does that make sense? Am I making sense at all? Hmm? Okay, dokie now. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash for now, and I will be putting mascara on the tops, but underneath. Listen, my hair looks like it's got static electricity in it. This mascara is pretty awesome stuff. I think Pharmacy has, what, eight or nine mascaras now? Listen, there is some mascara. Oh, there is a mascara for everybody. Here we go. Now, um, like I said yesterday, if I was doing, um, just mascara I'd probably put two or three coats of mascara on but I've gotten so used oh my camera went out I've gotten so used to using um, lashes either strip or magnetics now I don't just go with mascara anymore look this is my husband sitting in the chair right there and there's Bella that's what I'm looking at if you see me peeking around looking over there that's what I'm looking at. Okay. The lashes are going to make the big difference. Now, this is a glitter liner that I'm going to put on my lash. I mean, on the, just on the inside, I think. So, we're just going to go over here, and we're going to put that, mag. you know, it won't, probably won't show a whole lot. I'm going to go halfway over because I'm going to do a shimmery. And I'm kind of going, you know, over. You remember I told you I put that little bit of tiny line on there to see where I was going with it. So where is... Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Had a brain tooth. I forgot what I was doing. This is BH Cosmetics. We're gonna put this right. I'm gonna put this right over again over my iris, right smack dab in the middle. We'll blend it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going to come over here. This rose really doesn't show up like the silver. We may have to, or I've got gold. Let me see here. I think the silver really shows up, though, the best. Let's do a little bit in the corner. You'll see. Just gonna kind of bring it over right on the inside there. See there? Gonna go over that rose gold. Wow. 
swatch. Just gonna kind of tap it because I'm gonna smooth it. Are y'all ready for Christmas? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you ready for Christmas? What a question. Actually, since I'm on a limited income now, I am just sticking with like great grandchildren. I have so many. Uh, so my poor grandchildren are going to be left out. My kids are going to be left out. But the little ones, it's all about for the little ones anyway, right? Isn't that pretty? I like that. All right, now we will do the magnetic liner. And after I get that liner on, then I'll put a little bit of mascara on. This is the liquid. And these are, these are the felt tip. Comes in about six or seven different colors. I have black, blue, and pink. I think it comes in purple. All right. I'm a little messy with the liquid here. I'm a little messy with it. I try not to be. I put extra in the inner corner and outer corner and sometimes it wants to bleed on me so I have to be careful. And I'm going to go back over it again. I hate getting it on my lashes. If you get it on your lashes. I made a mess. Okay, hang on. If you get it on your lashes, you just brush them out while they're still wet, right? Wasn't too bad. All right, now I need to fix something. Oh, I got quite a bit on this one. I didn't know that. <gasps> Bummer. Okay, so I'm going to have to come over here with more of this liquid glittery stuff here. And I'm going to clean up my, my line. Shoot. Made it thicker than I like, but that's okay. Now, I hate that I got that on my lashes, but my biphase, I don't have it right here, but my biphase um, makeup remover gets that off. And I'm going to give this a minute because if it bleeds, I'm going to have to clean that up. That is the only downfall for me on liquid is it wants to bleed. The felt tip does so much better. But the liquid is really does more stays it stays on better. And I think I'm gonna make my what I do with my stuff. I think I'm gonna make my um, lips a little bit bigger. So let's clean this up. See what I mean? Yeah, what I missed. using that rose gold. Okay. I just end up just messing around with this stuff. It's like a creation. Now we're going to do a little bit of mascara just on underneath. 
hopefully, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Don't need a lot over here. I like some over here. <sighs> if you ever get this all over your nose or whatever, you can fix it. You want it to dry a little bit though before you start messing with it. Wow. Smooth it in. Yeah, sometimes my creation turns out to be something else because I end up making a boo-boo. So don't be scared of stuff. You can fix it. I promise it'll look okay. You know, it might not be exactly what you were thinking it was going to look like. <laughs> but it will be okie dokie. Let's smooth it out. Okay, now hopefully I haven't waste, uh, been too long with this. Today I'm going to use this new line they've got. This is called, You've Got to Come Quick, Your Ex is Here. <laughs> and it's IDC is the name of it. IDC. All right. Get my little applicator. Ooh, I didn't clean these up. I hope they'll stick. I didn't clean them. Bummer. Let's see if I can file them, huh? I saw somebody do this one time. They took their little magnetic thing and took a gentle filing emery board and just gently went over those magnets. That gets the uh, the biggest uh, bulk. These little uh, lashes have got six magnets. Uh, and they also come with anchors. Two anchors. The glue, the liner should be about 80% dry. I try to get it on the inside first and then do the out part. I may not have put enough on the outer edge. Forgot to smooth that out. Ooh. See what difference it makes. Look, and look at my hoods. See the hoods? See the hoods? Don't see the hood? Not so bad anyway. Okay. The glue, the uh, liner, I mean, needs to be about 80% dry. So I may have let it get too dry from running my mouth. I have to hold it just right. Now, some girls can put this on with their fingers. I can handle it after I get it on. You can push these lashes a little. You can push the lashes to go up more if you want to or down. I don't really like them to go up, up because it shows the uh, flesh tone of my lid. Once you get these on, you don't even really feel them. And if you don't like the, I had the biggest problem with the inside. So if you don't like the inside, you can fix that. With a pencil, more shadow, more whatevers. I always put my stuff up when I don't need to put it up. Hmm. Like so. 
Yeah, and you have to be careful because these come with anchors. Yesterday I put a lash on it. It had an anchor on it and I didn't even know it. So, once you get them on there and they get settled, they are going to stay right where you put them. And make sure it's on that liner, of course. All right, let's make some fat lips, okay? That's about all I'm going to do with these eyes. Did I smooth the other side out? No. <gasps> Y'all are going to let me just get out of here without smoothing things out find the right brush I desperately need a new makeup setup because I added this at the last minute we wanted to make sure it's smooth Now that was a, a pencil liner. I thought it did a great job as an eyeshadow. All of our liners, by the way, all of pharmacy's liners can be used as shadows. I did a video one time, had nothing but the liners for shadows. We've got some new lip stuff too. I'm gonna put some of it on. Mm -hmm. You really need lip balm in the winter time, don't you? See if I can make my lips a little fatter. Seems like the older I've gotten, the thinner my lips are. Okay. I am gonna use number so I can see it without my glasses. Oh 22. Oh, I can't see that. It's terrible. 220. Look like 2220. All right, let's see if we can do this. Haven't done this in a long time, so don't judge me. You want to go a little above your lip, not real far. You'll look really weird. So. Oh, and I've got some new lips, lip colors coming that have gold of all things, supposedly, in them. And there was one real pretty one. There's a purple, a red, and this kind of, I don't know, peachy, orangey color. Yeah. All right. Pencils are good to use if your lipstick bleeds. As we age, we're going to get these little wrinkles right in here. Or if you smoke, you're going to have wrinkles. So you want to make sure that they don't bleed. You see how, how I went? It's going to help. I just usually don't take time. You can use these pencils as your lip color too, see? Now, I didn't go overboard, but see? All right, I think what I wanna use for my lip color today is a couple of things. That was number 220. I'm gonna use BB. And listen, I picked one where the name is off. No, this is 02, I'm sorry. The other one didn't have the name on it. That's why I changed. Called Soft Kiss. This is uh, very moisturizing. It's very, very nourishing. I swear. I would drop my head if it wasn't connected. I don't know where my lid went now. Oh, the 
look at it. Okay. Now, if that's too much for you, you can always go over it with a gloss. And this gloss, or let me see what, the, I was going to use this gloss from Gerard Cosmetics, but I've got two, three drawers full of lip color. Let me see if I can find the lightest one of our new lip glosses. It's kind of hard to tell with the boxes. I want to try to use the lightest color one. This is not very light, but let me see. We can fix it. New lip gloss with color. <laughs> The thing about wearing a mask and lip color, it's really better to use um, the matte, you know, I'm having a brain fart today. I tell you, I can't concentrate. It kind of doesn't come off. This is from Gerard Cosmetic. I think it's called Crystal. So I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about. Kind of a gold try not to go overboard with it see lightened it a little you know this is a heck of a lot longer than what i was planning on sorry if you've made it this far thank you so much okay I'm getting off of here because i got to fix my husband's lunch before we go. Anyway, thank you so much. MarshaHolland.com. Check out my pharmacy stuff. Uh, you can get the lashes at Glammedic.com. I don't get paid for the lashes. Uh, they just gave me some uh, product to do their demos with. And so, yeah. I'll go for that, right? All right, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to holler at me. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something, though. I don't guess I am. Feels like it, though. Well, this is the final look. Watch. I'm going to get lipstick all over my mask. So I'm going to show you something. It's best, actually, I think, to use disposable masks, like one time one-time uses but I want you to look at the difference in the eyes I'm not gonna put the thing on because I don't want to get lipstick here I know you can also put uh, in these masks you can also put disposable mask inside but look look at the eyes see mm-hmm mm-hmm see there <laughs> all right I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much. Come by tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. Central Time. And you might have an opportunity to win a set of lashes and liner for every 25 shares. They're going to give it away. And also, uh, if you, the, I think they're going to give me a code, I think, during that live, just during the live, where if you used my code, then you'd get 35% off of that, too. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. See ya.